Hello everyone, my name is Jacob as always, and I am the advocate and head coach for the reigning, defending, undisputed APA champions, the Green Bay Pikachus, and this is week number three of the APA, and season number three of Wi-Fi League, I should say, where we're facing Kurt, the head coach of the Adelaide Absols. I was going to say Honchkrows, but that's still Standish, and I think there might be somebody else that's the head coach of the Honchkrows, too, but I don't I don't know. I know he's from Australia, so we're playing later tonight on my Tuesday night, 9.30. It'd be like midday for him on Wednesday, but it's going to be a hard matchup to win, but I have confidence in the team that we built. I got to thank my one of my good friends, Mark, a.k.a. the Scruffy Fox, for helping me build as per usual. We usually... I don't know, just shoot out ideas at each other, and eventually we get to where we gotta get to, you know? Anyway, without further ado, let's go over his team and our team. But before I uh, do that, um, I just want to say, make sure you check him out in the description down below to his Twitter and his YouTube. They'll always be down there. Um, and then for the battle, obviously, you, I will try to always link their side, or at least their channel for sure. Probably their side for sure, but anyway... Let's get started, shall we? So let's go over our 11 Pokemon. You should probably know them by now. We had the draft analysis video and two weeks of action already. So let's go over it. We have Zygarde 50 per... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we made transactions. Duh. Gotta state that first. So we dropped Alolan Dugtrio and Murkrow uh, for Articuno and Lipard. I didn't want to make like a three minute video stating that. So yeah, it's in this video. So you're going to hear those members of our team now. So we have Zygarde 50%, Mega Manectric, Fortress, Azelf, Jellicent, Naheligo, Embor, Licky Licky, Lipard, Articuno, and Tapu Bulu. Our Z users are Zygarde and Tapu Bulu. Um, his team is as followed. Kirim Black, Mega Gardevoir, Magnezone, Vaporeon, Chestnut, Mesprit, Shuckle, Gliscor, Spiritomb, Muck and Entei. Um, his users are Kieran Black and Entei. He 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 all actually did have when he started prepping for this match. He had just normal Ditto. Obviously, that's the only Ditto there is. But he just had Ditto. But he dropped that for Spear Tomb, and that opened the doors for so much on this team. I'm not even joking you. I was like really skeptical. I was like, should I really bring Setup Zygarde when he's got a Ditto? I probably shouldn't bring Setup Zygarde when he's got a Ditto. But he dropped Ditto in perfect timing for our match. So I'm so happy he does not have Ditto. I'm so happy he's got Spiritomb instead because I'd much rather face Spiritomb this matchup, which I don't really think should come because it doesn't really give him, like, what does it really accomplish for him in this match? Um, but yeah, anyway, um, without further ado, we're going to get going with the team. So uh, first up, we got a, a lead. It's basically a lead, um, anti-lead. Focus Sash, uh, Nihiligo, Claymaker. Oh, by the way, uh, Nihiligo's nickname is Claymaker now. And, um, what is it? Articuno's nickname is Jerk, because I swapped out, um, Alolan Dugtrio, which, you know, whatever. So I just swapped names a little bit, just to make things make more sense. And then, um, Lipard's nickname is Devad, because I name all my dark types under, um, after my friend David, or Devad, we, I always call him. But anyway... Uh, we got Claymaker, then Nihiligo with Focus Sash, uh, obviously Beast Boost Ability, Toxic Spikes, Sludge Wave, Power Gem, and Hidden Power Ice. Now, you might be questioning Hidden Power Ice instead of Hidden Power Ground, but there is reason and merit behind it, uh, which we'll get to. But anyway, um, Toxic Spikes really hurt his team. Um, his only way to remove hazards in general is Gliscor, so obviously he needs to bring Gliscor. If he doesn't bring Gliscor, he just pretty much auto-loses to Toxic Spikes. Then again, last week um, against Nate, I'm like, oh, he's, he's going to bring this. He's He has to bring this because otherwise he'll lose to Toxic Spikes. Well, he didn't bring that, so he lost to Toxic Spikes. And the same with um, Silver Smasher in week one. He didn't bring any answer to Toxic Spikes, so eventually people need to start prepping for Toxic Spikes or they're going to lose to Toxic Spikes. Plain and simple. I'm just stating fact, guys. You will lose to Toxic Spikes if you don't bring something to... For toxic, just I'm just saying in general, it's gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, um, um, basically, toxic spike hurt his team. He's not bringing muck. If he brings normal muck, I'm just like that's Zygarde food. That's lit. That's the epitome of Zygarde food. Uh, basically, uh, he needs to bring scarf Kiram. I say, I, 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 the reason I say this 
is because he's that's his best check to plus one Zygarde. I mean, I suppose he could bring Scarf Gliscord, but that's not going to Oko Zygarde, like with an Ice Fang or with anything. So he's got to kind of bring Scarf Kirum. I mean, it's not the best for this matchup, but I don't really think he's got another choice here in the matter. At least he can at least speed tie with us if we were rocking Jolly Max Speed, but we're not. We'll, we'll get that far. Um, and I'll explain HP Ice in just a minute once we get that far. Uh, but next up, uh, based off the entire team, uh, this is the entire team, obviously. Or not the entire team. This is how we're going to win the game, hopefully. Um, we have Dragon Dance, Adamant, Z Zygarde. Uh, that has enough speed for him creeping our Bulu by a little bit. So if he goes to him creeping, us creeping. Him creeping our Bulu with Gliscor, if that makes any sense. So, Papu Bulu's max speed is 139. So, in theory, he'll go 140 with Gliscor, which he should probably just go to Articuno, if we're stating facts so we can get a defog off. Um, but, if he's only going enough for Bulu, we go enough with Zygarde to outspeed that. So, he would have to be 140. Be, yeah, anyway. That's my logic behind it. It's a weird spread, but we don't need that much bulk this week. It's just like week one all over again. We're potentially bringing Adam and Max Attack because I want to hit as hard as I possibly can. Um, yes, our, our team also has limited switches to a Pokemon like Magnezone too. Magnezone really hurts our team. Our best switch into it is Lickety Licky, but we need Licky Licky for so many things this matchup. It's insane. And the thing about Magnezone is though, it's not running HP Ice. He really can't afford to run HP Ice because otherwise Fortress will literally just Volt Switch whenever it wants. And we're running a Spideff bulkier set like on the Spideff side. So Thunderbolt might not two hit KO us unless he specs. So therefore he really needs to be HP Fire. I would be ab I I'm just gonna attack Magnezone if it's in front of me. Like I really can't risk him go him going for HP Ice and killing me. Especially if, it if he's um just like pretending he's magnet pull and then he goes analytic and kill no i can't risk that so i absolutely have to just attack what's in front of me with magnezone if it comes to that however something like chestnut sitting there i'm setting up all over chestnut he can lead seed me all he wants but yeah anyway i really do like zygarde in this matchup for sure 100 percent um extreme speed's nice to get some chip damage on things especially if it's like Entei if he's like banded Entei and we're at plus one we click extreme speed and then I think he goes down after rocks or it's a really close roll after rocks that he'll go down I actually he probably doesn't go down um uh, let me just calc really actually you know I'm not even gonna calc there's really no point but I am pretty sure it, it, it's not necessarily close but now now I have to check I literally have to check because I'm insane that way um, Entei. Uh, these are level 50. Uh, no, it's not even close to a roll, and that's if he's got no bulk, so. I lied, uh, Extreme Speed only does 37 to 44 if he's no bulk invested Entei. So, yeah, it's a 2 KO after rocks, or close to a 2 KO. What? Uh, not, wouldn't even go for that. Expanded Extreme Speed doesn't even do that much to, to, uh, to Zygarde. It does 32 to 38, so I'm not, really not that worried, but I would click Thousand Arrows. That Never mind. So, forget I was talking there. Anyway, uh, this thing actually just puts a lot of pressure on his team. His team doesn't particularly switch into this monster very, very well. Um, he's got Mesprit, but I believe after Rocks, um, Thousand Arrows into Z Outrage will kill Mesprit. 100% so I am pretty sure about that um, we're adamant oh that why did that go to Kieran black I don't know why uh, Zygarde uh, let's see let's see that's level 100 we want level 50 I don't know why I'm calculating in the midst of recording that's pretty silly of me but thought yeah thousand arrows is definitely gonna kill him into that I don't know. I just have to check stuff. I, sh I should know this. I'll be calculating during the game, so I don't know why I'm doing this. But 1,000 arrows, that'll be 87, uh, 60. Now we got a calc. Oh, it is. It, that's that's at least phys max physically defensive as well. But honestly, yeah, he, he, he really. 
yeah. He he honestly does not. It, yeah, it, it pretty much kills Mesprit. But also plus one Z outrage pretty much kills it after rocks anyway. So, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, it's potentially kind of weird. He could pivot around stuff and going to uh, Mega Gardevoir um, to scout for the Z outrage. But we'll 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 have to play it by how he plays the game. We'll have to adapt to his play style and see how he plays. I don't really know him that well of a player or anything like that. Um, I know he brought. I, I, I just I don't know his playstyle too too well, but he probably doesn't know my playstyle all that well either. So I'm gonna be playing a lot more aggressive this match. If I didn't state that already, um, this match needs to be played very aggressively. I need to play very aggressively because I play very like conservative. I'm going to lose this game. So aggressive is the name of the game, 100% this game because if we play conservatively we won't win i already can sense that i can feel that so we will play aggressive it bites me in the bat but it bites me in the butt we'll, we'll figure it out though but anyway uh this is our win condition i will not try to switch this in and try to sweep until i'm absolutely able to and like i said scarf kirum is a likely bring to at least try to check this thing so therefore we're having li having licky licky as our designated kirum black switching and kind of mega gardevoir as well but the reason why this is like here on black switching is because nothing it can really do can 2-hit KO us. Uh, the only thing he'd be able to do is like Z Free Shock. Like it'd be like Fusion Ball or Dragon Claw into Z Free Shock. That's about the only way he's going to kill us, I think. More often than not, he won't be able to kill us. And I'm going to try to pressure him as much as I can and keep rocks off of our field. Uh, yeah, we don't. we're not really bringing... We're bringing one thing really weak to rocks, but we're not really bringing all that lot of mons weak to rocks. But I need to pressure. I absolutely need to pressure and make sure that he keeps rocks off. Um, Fortress will do that pretty. Re re or I think it'll do it really well. Um, it's job really well. Yes, it can get trapped by uh, Magnezone, but we have ways around that. Um, but at the same time, being a check to Mega Guard and Kieran Black too. So we have some checks to Kieran Black. If you don't bring Kieran Black, I'm just going to laugh. Because I had a game last week in my fun showdown league where my opponent didn't bring Kieran Black. And I was just saying, I was like, why wouldn't you bring Kieran Black? I, you bring Kieran, you should always bring Kieran Black. Always find a way to put Kieran Black on your team. It doesn't matter how, Kieran Black really doesn't have a bad matchup. Just bring it each and every single game. It doesn't really matter. Find a way to use Kieran Black. That's all I'm going to say about that. Like, anyway, uh, but the awesome thing about this spread is it really can't be o code or 2 a KO by anything Kieran Black does. Same with Mega Guard, unless it's like plus one and then two Shy Shocks would probably kill us because we have no defensive investment. But he, I don't see him bring Calm Mind. Um, I guess he could potentially do it. That could be kind of problematic. But plus one HP Fire will not knock out Fortress anyway because we have Akaberry again. But. So, we have to be extremely careful, but at the same time, um, this will 2-hit KO um, most Mega Guard spreads unless he's really physically defensive with our spread. Return does do that, unless he burns us too or something with like Will-O-Wisp if he has it or something like that. But, yeah, we're not switching Entei into this at all. We can't switch... Entei, Entei is an issue for our team, and I had a team before that I didn't have Jellicent on, and then I had a mock with my friend Tyler, aka Fanabase, he's also in this league, and Entei kind of just was so annoying, so I'm like, Jellicent has to come, if he brings Entei, I'm screwed, and if he doesn't bring Entei, well then I'm happy, so yeah, but we have knockoff for, to get rid of Scarf Kiram, if he stays in, if he makes a mistake, I will sack Licky Licky to Scarf Kiram, in order for us to win, because Scarf Kiram is a, is a, is a pretty big issue, um, but if I can get rid of Scarf Kiram, his checks to plus one Zygarde are pretty much non-existent at that point. They are pretty much non-existent. Um, we'll figure it out though. Um, I did have Ice Beam on this originally. And I really want to run Ice Beam on it, but I need Protect in case. Because Licky Licky is too important here to lose. If I lose Licky Licky here, it's going to be really... It's going to suck. Also, the attack investment... Here is to break a 228 HP invested Kieran Black. Um, it'd be 228 HP, not like 244 uh, or 252. It'd be 244. It wouldn't be that because it, he, if he's sub Kieran, he would want him number divisible by four. 
Um, that's usually what you want to do with subs. So you can get your most out of your substitutes, even if your leftovers and stuff. But you don't have to be leftovers with sub cream because it has roost. So if you wanted to, you could go ice beam fusion bow uh, or sub roost, and that could be kind of an issue. But if unless he's a really physically defensive cream in black, or he he would have a little bit of defense investment. Our, our return will break his sub, unless we're burned, which would suck. Then I would that would have made me wish that we have facade. But I'm gonna be careful and hopefully not let this thing get burned. That would really suck, because we didn't bring Heal Ball on this team. We didn't. But anyway, um, I really like Licky Licky this matchup. It's a good defensive pivot. It can help our team with Wish support. It can do a lot of things. Um, also, he only has a couple knockoff users, and that's being, I think just, well, he's got three, actually. He's got Gliscor, Shuckle, and Mesprit. Um, Shuckle, I, he should not bring, because... What is Shuckle really going to accomplish this matchup? His team is absurdly slow, but what is it really going to accomplish this matchup? Like, Azel, I've been bringing Azelf a lot lately, which, make me, made, eh, which makes me believe he might bring Spiritomb this matchup. But if he brings Spiritomb this matchup, it's pretty much going to be useless, except for my Jellicent that I'm bringing. Like, it's not really going to accomplish a whole lot for him. Um... Well, I mean, I guess it could potentially, but at the same time, it probably won't. But anyway, uh, Licky Licky is really good here. Uh, next up, though, I, I gotta keep going on this. I'm rambling, but uh, we have Lambo the Fortress with the Akaberry Sturdy, obviously. Rapid Spin, Gyro Ball, Stealth Rock, Volt Switch. Yes, I could run Earthquake for a potential Magnazone switch in, but you see, I'd rather just Volt Switch on the Magnazone switch in. And then go right into Zygarde, and it accomplishes the same thing, and it pressures his team way too much, because in no facet should he ever stay in versus a Zygarde with a Magnazone, even if he's Scarfed, because, I mean, Scarfed Magnazone is terrible this game, by the way, um, but, because if he locks, if Choice Magnazone is terrible, because if he locks himself in an electric move, or HP Fire, Zygarde sets up and could clean up very easily, so, bad Bad idea if he brings Scarf Magnuson. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, we got Fortress with Akaberry. Uh, got with this investment. Um, after Rocks, I believe, uh, since we have zero speed investment in Garibald, I believe that will Oko Mega Guard, even if it's like really bulky. I, I think so. Don't quote me. I might be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. Stealth Rocks are needed here because I need to uh, weaken Gliscor and Mesprit, um, as well as just Kieran Black in general. Uh, Toxic hurt his team really, really bad. I need to get rid of Mesprit. Mesprit and Gliscor are the two mons that I'm really just... its just, They're just annoying for my team to handle. Um, but I feel I can handle them with what I have. It just comes down to how, what he brings, how he plays, and what the lead matchup is. I need to be very careful with what my lead matchup is. So, yeah. Um... That is Fortress. Don't need to talk about much about that. I mean, Rapid Spin. We pretty much get a free Rapid Spin off on pretty much whenever we want. Um, because of... Unless he brings Spear to him, but then I'll just Volt Switch and then we'll play around it. Uh, but next up, we have Scarf Articuno. Now, this might be a little bit weird. The reason it's going to be Scarfed is for a couple reasons. Two, we can actually win with this late game if his team is weakened. Uh, to the point where Articuno can clean up. Two, it gives us momentum with U-turn, and then we have a nice U-turn, uh, Volt Turn Core with Fortress and Articuno this game. Three, um, I think he's going to run enough speed on Glide Score for Articuno. Um, so we can always defog off before I kill him with an ice move. So I think that's what he's going to do. So basically, if I predict Glide Score to come in, I either double into Nihaligo... Or I double into Articuno. In either way, I should be able to kill it. Because HP I should knock it out. Um, unless he's like really spit F. Or Ice Beam will knock it out. And that will allow me to keep Toxic Spikes up for the game. And once Gliscor is down, Articuno can easily die. I don't really care. Unless it will win me the game late game of its Scarf. But we'll, depending on who, uh, who we all brings. I mean, I just, I don't envision him bringing Shuckle. Like, Shuckle's just such a bad bring. Like, I can, if he brings Shuckle, I can just lead Fortress and not give a two craps about Magnezone. I, I just, whatever. Like, he, 
But I'm pretty sure he's bringing his top three, Megs, Meg, Gardevoir, and Kieran Black. It just would be silly. I'm pretty sure he's going to bring Vaporeon because he needs to switch in Embor, which we're not bringing. I could have brought Scarf Embor, but I just not um, because but he kind of needs to bring Vaporeon because that's his best switch into like an Adamant Scarf Reckless Flare Blitz because uh, it resists it. Gliscor, I think to physically defend the Gliscor, it does like 38 to 45, so that's not switching in after Rocks really. Potentially it could, but it's still going to take a lot of damage. Mesprit's not going to either if Gliscor takes that much damage. Like, he just does not switch in to a Scarf and more well at all. So, I'd rather just, um, I'd rather, I, and I think he's gonna prep for Embor. I really wish I could bring, I really wish I could fit Embor on this team. Like, it would be the seventh member if I brought one. But I can't, sadly. I just, I couldn't bring it. Um, instead, we're gonna bring physically defensive Jellicent, uh, Clinton Dix. Uh, that's Jerk, I don't know why, just wanted to. Clinton Dix, because ghost type. I named my ghost types Clinton Dix after ha ha Clinton Dix, because ha ha scary ghost, I don't know. Anyway, we have Wakanberry, uh, so we can switch into Kieran Black, potentially, depending on what he all wants to do. It's just very diff Kieran Black scary, obviously. I mean, I, I, if he doesn't bring Scarf, he's really weak to DD Zygarde, but if he does bring Scarf, uh, it'll be easier for us to play around, so it's a like, really hard for him to do really well with Kieran Black. He's he's got to build it correctly, and if he does, like oh boy, we're we're in a lot of trouble. Uh, but we have Hex Recover, Scald, Taunt, in this. I'm bringing Scald because I need a move to hit Gliscor. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. We have some speed in this just for Vaporeon. Just like if it's got like six or twelve speed, we can outspeed it. Or, 12 or 20, something like that. But we have 60 speed. Because it was just left over. We didn't need it. I believe with our investment, Fusion Bolt does not... Um... Oko us. Like, it doesn't... It's gonna do a lot of damage. I don't know. Uh, so we can live after... I forget. There's something that this was for. And it's been a couple days since I built this set. I don't remember what I built it for. Like, obviously, it was for Fusion Bolt from here in black, and then, like, we can take a move from Magnezone and potentially knock it out, uh, depending on where its HP's at. It, it all depends on certain aspects. He might not even run speed on Magnezone, which I think he should. Um, but that's not the point. Uh, point is, like, Jellicent is... I, I like it right here um, in this matchup, because we need it for Entei. I doubt he's going to bring, like, Zeke Bite on it. If he brings an item to kill Jellicent, I think it would be Light Lychee Berry. Or lychee berry or potentially it could be like z solar beam or it could be like sunny day solar beam with like weakness policy shout out to gym leader geo versus shady penguin in season five of the gba i think that was two years ago or so and like uh 2015 when that happened that was pretty fun that was pretty good but um i don't know um he potentially could go that route with jellicent um but we have to be careful and see what he's gonna go and what route he's gonna go um, but honestly, uh, like this matchup is really rough because he's got some hard Pokemon. That's what I said last week, and then we won 4-0. But this matchup I feel is even more. It's even rougher for us because of the Kieran Black, of the Mega Gardevoir, of the Ma well, Magnezone. Not as bad as those first two, but like offensive guard can just go in the put in the work here. It'll be pretty tough. Chestnut, I don't really give a crap about. We have ways to beat it. Um, Shuckle, I don't care. Mesprit's kind of annoying. Like, his team's just mildly annoying, even though he only has one way to remove hazards. But Gliscor is a really good hazard remover. But he should get some Pokemon to remove hazards because of that. Um, just so to relieve the pressure off Gliscor every single week of getting rid of hazards. But if he doesn't bring Gliscor, <laughs> I think he'll lose for sure because, I don't know, he, he needs to bring Gliscor here. He absolutely needs to bring Gliscor. But that's on him if he doesn't. So anyway, to recap the team, we have Claymaker, the Naheligo, uh, Aira, the Zygarde, A1X, Alex, the Licky Licky, Lambo, the Fortress, Jerk, the Articuno, and Clinton Dix, the Jellicent. So let me know in the comments down below who you think our hashtag most valuable Pokemon will be. And we'll let, let you go for now. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting tired. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and I love you all so very much. Adios, everyone. Bye. Hello, everyone. 
My name is Jacob, as always, and I'm the advocate and head coach for the reigning, defending, undisputed APA champions, the Green Bay Pikachus. And this is week number three of the APA, where we are facing Kurt, uh, aka the head coach of the Adelaide Absols, and he is 1-1, one one, or 0-2 oh on the season, and we're 2-0. and oh. So we look to continue our streak to start the year. Um, I just wish them best of luck and have fun. Let's have a fun game, dude. This is, uh, whew, this is interesting. I can't wait to see what he has. I'm kind of anxious to see what he's bringing. And he's got Chestnut, Kiram, Guard. He did bring Muck. Oh, nice bring. Muck, Spirit, Tomb, and Shuckle. Huh. No Magneton Zone. That is a mistake, I think. That is... It, his team is so, so weak. To plus one Zygarde is not even funny. Oh, my lord. Um, what I think he is going to do is I think he's going to lead Shuckle. I just have that feeling he's going to lead Shuckle. Now, how do I prevent that? I don't want to lead... Hmm... I don't want to reveal that I'm Scarf. Hmm. Web's not... I always get a... I don't get a free spin-off because of Spiritomb. Now, this is an interesting team that he brought. I actually want to take my time. I think Jellicent is honestly just the best lead. Like, for real? I actually... Like, Fortress is just the best lead, honestly. If I'm being honest, because he didn't bring a Ground-type. Like, Fortress is best lead, because I get my rocks up. Yeah, rocks up. He didn't bring a Defog either. He didn't bring Gliscor. I don't know why. Oh, he didn't bring Gliscor! Or Mesprit. Like, he brought... He didn't bring some of the annoyances that I was thinking about, and I'm just, like, surprised, honestly, guys. I'm genuinely surprised at what he brought. I can't believe he brought... Su he brought Zygarde food and Muck. Um, I gotta scout what Muck wants to do, but... I'm just going to lead Fortress. Best lead. What is he going to lead with? He is going to lead with Muck. No, that's Spiritomb. Okay. Um, he could potentially Will-O-Wisp us. I don't want that to happen. I, I really, really don't. And because we have no speed, he's going to... That's, that's exactly what's going to happen. I can't go into that. Like, I think I... No, getting rocks up, though, since he didn't bring a removal, is just actually just really, really important. Because we have other ways. I Yeah. He could taunt us, but if he taunts us, that's... I'm not going to stay in next turn, then. I'd rather just rocks. If he wants to taunt, cool. If he wants... If he, I'm not going to stay in, then, next turn. If he goes that route. Potentially, a taunt would be actually a really good play by him right here. Um, I just want to scout. If he wants to burn Fortress... Hey, it is what it is. He's going to Shadow Sneak? I am really confused by what, why that Shadow Sneak came out. Well, genuinely surprised at that move right there. Um, This is a big threat. Do I really want to take more damage with this? Um, I don't think so. I can't tell what item that thing is. I don't know if it's black glasses or leftovers or what, but we know he's not a calm mindset or a trick room nasty plot set anymore. More than likely because he had Shadow Sneak. Honestly, though, his Stealth Rocker, I, I can't determine that yet. He didn't bring Vaporeon either. He brought a really weird team, and I didn't expect a team. I don't know why he necessarily brought webs, but I don't really want to stay in and eat a Will-O-Wisp in case it comes down to it. So I think... I don't want to go to Licky Licky. Because that's sub Kiram, that's not going to be fun for me. I mean, honestly, though, I think I ha I'm i forced to go to Licky Licky. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whittle this thing down and spam ice moves with Articuno. As he goes into Leonardo, or to Shuck like, oh, he goes into, uh... Oh, yeah, so he could have easily... Hmm. I don't know. I want Articuno because I was like, I just wanted to pressure that Spiritomb and try to weaken it as much as I can. 
Uh, he doesn't really have a great switch into this Ice Beam either, and I highly doubt he's staying in. I really want to be aggressive and click U-turn. Like, I almost have no reason not to, um, but if he wants to, like, he's not going to stay in here. That'd be crazy to stay in. More than likely, he's going to go to Shuckle. I would be absolutely shocked, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to click U-turn. Yeah, so we got momentum with U-turn. This is exactly what I wanted. What is that, Shuckle? Yeah, um, because now at this current juncture, um, hmm, how do I prevent webs from going up? Well, does Nihaligo just kill this Shuckle? Wait, does Nihaligo just win? No, Nihaligo can't win. He's got, um, Shadow Sneak on that, but let's go to Nihaligo really quick. I want to see if that kills from that range. Uh, we're not that set. Crap. I knew I was going to do that. Different nicknames are screwing me up. Shuckle. Power gem doesn't kill, so... Um, I mean... I can just... The guy is going to do nothing, though. So what I want to do... Is... Wait, he brought Muck, so... I want to be... I want to be smart about this, actually. Um... I could go Zygarde here, but what is he going to... He could potentially Encore me. Well, Zygarde pressures him into making him Encore, essentially. E no, I don't want to go into Zygarde too early. I think the go. I mean, that two-hit KO is Shuckle right there anyway. Yeah, uh, Power Gem's the right play here. I have no reason not to... I have no reason to overpredict. It's going to kill Shuckle. Or not kill it, but... Tula KO as he sets up... What? Is he at Figgy Berry? Oh, that's Figgy Berry, alright. Or a Berry. He is... Yeah, Papa Berry. He's going to set up Rocks. Rocks don't entirely hurt my team all that much. Maybe I should have went to Fortress. But, I mean, at this current juncture, I'm just going to click Power Gem again. Maybe I should have gone Jellicent, and then he could have only got... Oh, he was Figgy. I could have taunted him. His final Gambit Chuckle. He didn't get webs up, so... I don't necessarily agree to that play. Hmm. I could have taunted him with Jellicent. Maybe I should have just tried that, but... I thought uh, the Mental Herb was so obvious that he wasn't, wasn't going to go that route. Hmm. We have HP Ice and the go too. We don't have HP Ground, but so I guess Power Gem is just as powerful anyway. As he goes to Spirit Tomb, um, honestly, if I can weaken this Spirit Tomb, that would be great here, and then it can spin and be okay. Power gem. I want to see if he's the salt vest, actually. He's gonna. Yeah, I figured he was trying to pursue me. Shadow Sneak does not kill me from this range. I really want to force Muck in. That's what I want to do. Like his play is just the pursuit again, because he can take another one. But then, yeah. Oh, I died, actually. I was surprised he clicked Sucker Punch right there. Um, He's got to have Will-O-Wisp, you would think. He's got to. Um, I could waste my Z-Move. That way I can Rapid Spin later. I can't go to Licky Licky. I need Licky Licky to not take damage. Zygarde's probably my best bet because Jellicent's going to hurt it pretty bad. Fortress takes any damage. Oh, yeah, Zygarde wastes Z move. 
potentially. Like, I kind of have to at this point, I think. If he wants to go into a chest knot, I mean, he's going to probably Will-O-Wisp. I would assume. Because he's got to have Will-O-Wisp as his last move. Well, let's see. Does plus two just win me the game here, though? Man, I could have just taunted that chuckle. That's kind of frustrating a little bit to me. Plus two. Plus three. See, the question is, does a plus three, or a plus two, Zygarde kill... Chestnut with uh, the th move. E yes, it does. Like, what is this thing gonna do to me? I'm gonna Dragon Dance right in its face. If he wants to Willow with me, he's not gonna be doing much damage. He clicks. That's game-changing, man. I am so sorry. That really sucks. He's got Icy Wind Spear to him. Thousand Arrows will just kill now. Yeah, a Thousand Arrows kills this. No, wait. Now that he's revealed that, I just win here now. Because now I'm at plus one. Kieran Black. Where's Kieran Black? Extreme speed at plus two. Extreme speed at plus three. Um, I would have to get to very high extreme speed range. I'm going to click Dragon Dance again. Actually, no. I'm just going to click Thousand Arrows and kill this thing. Because then I spin. Now he's spin. Now he's got to go to his Scarfer or just lose a Pokemon. If he goes to Chestnut, like, Chestnut doesn't do anything to me. He goes to Chestnut. What is Chestnut going to do? Chestnut does not get an ice move, I don't think. I'm going to check, but I don't think it gets an ice move. That hack does suck for him a little bit, but at the same time, he would have died to that anyway. He would have been able to go into more Pokemon, but, like... Why is that so loud? That's so loud. I don't know why that's so loud. I'm taking out my earbuds for a minute. I don't think it gets a nice move. No, just HP Ice. I gotta turn that down, though, because for whatever reason, that went way up in volume. So that's going to kill your guys' ears for a minute. I'm just going to click Dragon Dance. I got no reason not to. Yeah, that wasn't the best play in the world because now we click Z Dragon and uh, essentially it's game. Yeah, I feel kind of, I feel really bad. Zygarde's just going to get a 5-0 sweep here. Now we just win. There's no, no, there's nothing you can do now. I mean, that really sucks for him. I'm really sorry for that hacks, Kurt. I mean, it changed the complexion of the game, but like. You still, like, if you would have went into Chestnut anyway, if that was your best bet of dealing with it, you would have been able to go to Karen Black, obviously, but that still wouldn't have killed me. The Thousand Arrows kill Karen Black now at plus two after rocks. It doesn't. 
Oh boy, I'm kind of forced to go into... Is he goes to that? He goes to Mega Guard. Really? Why wouldn't he go to Kieran Black? I can't... Why would he not try to force me into Outrage? I mean, because Guard's just going to die to this, right? There's no Mega Guard set that can live this, I don't think. I mean... Physically defensive does, but at this point, I have ways to beat Kieran Black still. I mean, that just made that just put you in the range of a thousand arrows for sure now. I see wind. I want to scalp that and just see how much that would have done to my spread. Let's see. Let's see. Just assume he was brave, not like I. I didn't. I mean, icy went. Oh wait, that's level one hundred. Icy wind probably would have done like fifty percent max, unless he was like some kind of crazy set. But um, do I just? click outrage i mean if i click outrage though i could potentially lose the game to this monster whereas i don't if i click thousand arrows and he's forced into a nice move here so i'm just gonna click thousand arrows he's only got two pokemon left and i have scarf articuno as he's not bulky did i get a crit no what kind of set is he that I killed at plus two? I, the calc said I wasn't supposed to kill at plus two. I guess it was a roll to kill. He must not have any bulk investment in that. I'll take it, but I mean... Ah, that hacks. I mean, I would have killed Spear Tomb anyway, but uh, he would have done... With Shadow Sneak or Sucker Punch then, he would have potentially done like to like 60%, but I, that sucks for him. Ah, this is like a dirty win, I feel. That was a dirty win. That was a dirty win. I mean, the game would have changed completely, but I don't know. Depending on his muck set, like it could have been set up harder for Zygarde anyway, but then again, like, not having Mental Herb and Shuckle was kind of weird. I could have prevented all that from rocks from getting up anyway, so... I, I'm not going to say GG, because that was, like, a spoiled win. I'm not really happy with that win. I mean, a win's a win. You take ugly wins. But that's just brutal. But uh, make sure you check out Kurt. Uh, he's a lot better player than what this game perceived him as, because, yeah, just that uh, wasn't... I, I don't have a good taste in my belly because I didn't feel like I earned the win because that icy wind miss was crucial but I was honestly just wasn't banking on the I didn't even think he'd have icy wind I thought he'd have like will o wisp well, I was going to set up to like plus 3 and just win that way but regardless uh, thanks for watching everyone have a great day and I love you all so very much adios sub strike army even though you guys aren't sub strike army anymore have a great day bye bye